Hello everybody, how's everyone doing today? Today we're going to be focusing on pretty much troubleshooting um, application issues and also memory leaks and using S-Trace to find out the issue with the application. So the first thing I'm going to do is to download these apps. So I'm going to do yum install dash y which pretty much is going to prompt for yes for everything that you're downloading. So we're going to do S trace and then we're going to get Val grind. All right. So we're going to wait for this to download. All right. It's already downloaded. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do S trace on the example program. As you can see, S trace pretty much dumps everything that's going on in here. All the system calls, access, open, F stat, all that. Over here, it says cannot open file and it kind of it says open right here which is read only and it says it can't open it so pretty much it probably doesn't exist so i can do ll on this file we see that it doesn't exist so we're going to do touch and we're going to make this file now if we go ll it should show you there now we're going to run this s trace again and we see now it's successful so now this this issue is now mitigated. All right. Um, this for the example app. Um, for the memory leak app, we're going to use Valgrind. Okay. This shows you what um, if it has a memory leak. So if you don't know what memory leaks are, it's pretty much a program um, allocates uh, space of memory on your RAM um, for it to be used. And what happens is that when you exit out the program, that memory block is still being used. So pretty much it's taking up space, which it shouldn't be. So this is how it works. If you actually read here, the memory check, a memory check detector. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see here it says invalid write of size four. And it tells you the memory address. It says F in memory leak test app. So the location, the memory location. And it's telling you here right now in use at exit. So when the program exited, it had 40 bytes in one block that's being used. Total heap use usage, one allocations, zero free, 40 bytes. So pretty much saying that this was allocated when it exited and there's zero freeze. So over here, as you can see, it's telling you that there's 40 bytes being used in one of the blocks. So the best way to honestly fix these kind of things, especially if you have a memory leaks in your application, is A, first uh, stop this application from running. So you're going to do change mod. You're taking off the execution bit, meaning that no one else can um, run this program. And second, stop it if you can. I mean, if it's not if it's not running already, um, and then you can also just uh, reboot your computer, and then also get whoever is working on that application to re, pretty much to re, um, you know, I guess code the program to make sure that this doesn't happen again. All right, and then the other issues I'm having is that the dig program doesn't work. OK, so as you can see, dig doesn't work. Right. And the reason why, if I do LD, LDD, it gives you the library dependencies. Right. So each program has dependencies. So what you can do is give it the full path of dig. OK, this is the full path. This is giving you all the libraries. So pretty much in your system, there's libraries that all these programs share. Right. So instead of them rewriting their own code for each time, they actually have a library like an API, pretty much something something similar to that in terms of being able to use their own, um, use libraries pretty much. Being able to pull information from these libraries and be able to use them, okay? So for LDD, it needs the direct path, okay? Um, you can use the which command and it tells you where that program is located. So which dig, you know, which if config, tells you where it's located, correct? So if you want to do it on LDD, if you don't know, you can, I mean, or if you don't want to type all that stuff, you can do this. Um, you can do which dig, and this is pretty much command substitution. So pretty much whatever is executed here, which is this, will be thrown into this program, LDD, which gives you the dependencies. So as you can see, it tells you all the library dependencies on here that this program relies on for it to work, as you can see, that this one's not fine. The lib DNS is not found. So I'm going to copy and paste that. Now I'm going to do yum what provides, and this is going to tell you what 
you know what um, what package provides this as we can see it's this one that provides it all right so we can do it says libraries for Node DNS protocol so if I do dig google.com as you can see it doesn't work right it says error while loading shared libraries um, so this stands for shared object by the way so shard object file no file found so what you can do now is you can install you can install this and it says it's already installed right but it's corrupted it's messed up so we can do use the reinstall command this will reinstall it for you okay so now if I use dig on google.com as you can see now the program is fixed the application is working and all is good all right and that's pretty much it today we covered um, s trace for pretty much debugging the program we use valve grinds to check for memory leaks and we used um, pretty much uh, the library command the LDD command and also yum what provides to check what library dependency was missing and then we added it and then we reinstalled it um, and the reason why you want to do that is because what if you have a program that has you know certain locations that you have special configuration files if you delete it you can delete all your configurations if that's part of the um, you know because usually yum will you know take all the locations that are related to that um, program so you want to reinstall it so you don't delete anything you're pretty much just reinstalling you know the actual program or whatever um, so like I said that's pretty much it um, if you guys want to learn more about troubleshooting and Red Hat servers uh, please leave a comment and please let me know what I should do next. Um, thank you for watching and have a great day.